That's why Paul showed them or teach them like after the death where they will go. Na kwa niaba ya hii akaonesha ya kwamba 
Sisi hatukufe lakini tunalala tunapumzika. And also he showed them that we not dying but we, we, we see a life. Maana tutaendelea kuwa hai milele na milele. Because we're going to uh, live forever. Alipenda awarudishie tumaini. So he just wanted to give them a hope. Bwana Yesu asifiwe. Amen. Lakini njia kufikia hiyo ni moja tu. But the only, there is only one way to to be there or to go there. Ni kumwamini Yesu Kristu kuwa bora na mkombozi wa maisha yake. Is to believe in God that to believe in God. Na kutubu zambi. And uh, repenting your sins. Pasipo hiyo without that. Siku hii kama hii ya leo like that that day like this day itakuwa ni siku ya uzuri na uchungu kwako. It will be a sad day for you. Bana maandiko yanasema because the bible says nitakuwa mwanzo ya tabu zako. It will be the beginning of your sad sad days. Milele na milele. Forever forever. Utakuwa kulia na kusaga mema. Uh, time. Na mubira na mareza akituachia changamoto. And then the preacher ending with Ni kwako siku ya leo. It is your time. Kujiuliza na kuamua. To think and then to decide. Je, yes, siku hii utakao kupata utakuwa katika hali gani? Ask yourself when that day comes to you how is it going to be? Bwana sifiwe. Asante. Maana muda wako ni huu. Because your day it is today. Na wala muda wako si kesho. And it's not tomorrow. Your day is not tomorrow. Bwana sifiwe. Leo siku kiingia today na ukikucha today when the night and day comes. Tunamshukuru Mungu maana tujue kama tena usiku taingia. We thank God that the, we saw the day and the now already finished. So when you receive this word, it is your time to receive it. God bless our future. And then we continue for our service. And at this time, Tunataka kupatia familia ya marehemu ambao wametuacha. Ikiwa kuna neno ambayo unawezi kuzungumza juu ya kumlaga marehemu, if you have anything to say about him or anything to to say goodbye to him, tunapatia kwa familia muda huyo. We give a time for for his family. Lakini sio biografia ya marehemu, it's not the story of him. Maana biografia marehemu tutaipata huko kisha majeshi. Because the story of him we're going to get everything to uh, reception where we're going to be together. Kama kuna yule aliye na neno ya kusema juu ya marehemu, if there is anybody that has anything to say about, about him or anything, kwa familia tunawapatia muda. Uh, the family will give them a time to sing. Or if there is a song you are prepared to sing for him or to say goodbye for him, you are welcome. At this time, you may sing that song. For him, it's it's for uh, like the family. 
time. Like at this time, I have six children. It's because of my dad, he helped me to, uh, to get these babies. I married my, my wife when I was kid, when I was young. Like, thinking like I, I should just escape or leave my wife. One word that I remember, um, my dad said, he said one thing. This wife, this, your wife will be your helper in your life. I was already got a ticket to South, South Africa. Remember uh, that way you won't be accepted. Because I see a lot of things uh, with you having your uh, a wife. And I know you will have a lot of kids. You will have a lot of children. Because, uh, and with the pool, just be patient and be with your wife. I try not to listen to the word of my father. Whoever who remember uh, back in a camp, I took a trip to to South Africa with my friends. When I get to the uh, the uh, bus station, there was no bus stopping on that uh, bus station. We, uh, we suffered. And then uh, Emas asked like, to go back to the camp. And my dad told me, why you planned it won't happen? Because you are not going in a right way, in a good way. So, I kneel down, I humble myself, and then I ask my dad and my parents for forgiveness. And then he said it again, uh, you're going to have a lot of kids, you will have a lot of children. Me and my wife, we got a six children. One died, died. And now we have um, five kids, children. As you see me here, I, I'm, I look, I mean, I'm young. I have 30 years. I'm 30 years. But I, I have five kids. Oh, when I try to show other people my children, they don't accept it if they are my kids. The last thing, when my father got here to America, I received him from uh, the I airport. He, he, uh, he was in Arizona. And then uh, I moved him from Arizona to here. 
Then my dad told me when he got into my house. He said, "Do you see the the benefits of you uh, staying with the family?" And now you have a, uh, a girls. And then he said, um, "Take care of your family." That's the, the the thing that I remember of him a lot. And now I'm so happy for my family. So if I had went to South Africa, would I have this family? Would I be happy? I'll be able to be here in the USA. So that's that's what I thank my father. Not only myself. He was he was advising all the family, all the family members. Uh, she's my sister. And she might also say something or a few words. Praise God. Praise God. As my brother said, we are in a bad time to lose uh, our father. This one, uh, this father, his uh, uncle. So, uh, her father died in two years ago. Like the same, the same month as he passed away. At, at this month of the so he was my advisor, my lovely father. I was I was in love with my father because he was always there for me. I don't want to be taking too long time. I am a Christian and I believe in God, and I know this is our way. So, so, I'm gonna I'm going to sing the same song that they sang when my father are dead. When my father the dead, I was already here in to, to America. And my father was back in home in Africa. So let's sing this song. It's in the Wokov's book, number 16. And so we can now.
And you will know more to their perception. Bwana Yesu asifiwe. Haleluya. Haleluya. Eh tunashukuru kwa ajili ya familia. We thank uh, for the family. Na kama familia pia ya kiro. Ni tazunguza tu kwa machache maneno mawili. And then I will talk few words. Kwanza ninashukuru maana marehemu ambayo ametutangulia alikuwa ni mtumishi wa Mungu. He was a servant of God. Na nimesikia kwamba alikuwa mpastori. I heard that he was a pastor. Ijapokuwa mimi nilikuwa sijamuona. I didn't see him. Maana bado angali mgeni Marekani because he was a new uh, member in, to USA. Na nimesikia amefanya sasa miezi miwili kama sidanganyike. And I heard he was here two months. Na Mungu amemuondoa. And then God took him. Ila kitu kinachonitia tena moyo na faraja. The only thing that give me hope. Nilijaribu kuongea na ndugu Sabiti. I tried to talk to his sons the beating. Ambori mtoto wa marehemu. Ah uh, he's uh, the son. Na nilikuwa najaribu kumuuliza juu ya mwisho wa marehemu ilikuwaje. And I would try to get more information about him how how he was. Hasa zaidi kwa maisha ya kiroho. Akaniambia ya kwamba and then he told me. Alipozungumza naye kwa ajili ya maisha ya kiroho When he talked to me about the spiritual Muse alimwambia amekaa sawa kwa maisha ya kiroho. He was good in a, a spiritual life. Na akamwambia kwamba amekwisha kutengeneza maisha yake. And then he was already repent. Alipata muda ya kutengeneza na walio karibu na walio mbali. He had a good time to repent with those people that was around him and uh, and far from. Kwa hiyo mimi nasema hiyo ilikuwa ni neema kubwa. So for that I would say it was a good opportunity. Kwa ajili ya ndugu tena baba yetu ambao ametuacha. For, for him or for our father who already left. Na kika ninasema amepata mwisho mzuri. And then I would say he has a good ending. Na roho ya marehemu Mungu aipumzikishe kwa amani. And then uh, the heart of, of him may God uh, yeah rest in peace. Bwana Yesu asifiwe. Praise God. Tunafika karibu kukingoni. We are at the end. Na mwalika mchungaji Josephat naona maneno. We are I'm inviting our pastor Josephat to say something. Jina la Bwana libarikiwe. Praise God. Ndio eh um, mtumishi wa Mungu, the servant of God, tumeweza kufahamiana. Uh, we talked tangu angali kambini Nyarugusu. Since he was back in, uh, in a camp at Nyarugusu, tukachukua muda mrefu wa maombi and we took a long uh, time praying na katika maisha yangu ya utumishi ninachukuaga muda wa kuomba mtu atengeneze maisha mbele kabla ya kuomba the way uh, the way i am uh, when i st- started uh, praying for somebody i have like i ask time for for them to to repent and then we can go ahead and na pray. wakati nilipopata taarifa kwamba anatoka Arizona anafika Richmond When I heard that he's about to come from Arizona to Richmond, mimi na watumishi mchungaji uh, Sungula na mke wangu na wengine tulifika kwa nyumba. Me with other pastors and my wife went to his house tukaweza kumpokea and then we received him. Wakasema tuwapatie na vyeti vyake vya huduma and then they ask us uh, can we give you the uh, paper that show that he was a uh, servant of God tukasema aye tutachukua baadaye kwanza tukimbie na maisha and then we said no that's fine we're going to receive that later on by let's continue kwa muda mdogo tu wakamhamisha kwenye sio in north in home and then in a few days in a few days they took him to nursing 
Na wakamweka mbali mahali ukitoka hapa sijui Richmond ukienda huko ni dakika labda makumi karibia makumi na hivi. And then they took him far away from Richmond like from here to there was like 40 minutes. Au 35 na au maybe 35 like that. Ah mimi kuonana naye mara ya mwisho. Mi my last time when I met him, moyo, I met him. Moyo meniuma moyoni. My heart hurt me. Nikasema huyo mtu ambao amekuja mikononi mwangu, I said uh, who came to my head? My Inakuwa muda mrefu simuone. It was a long time without seeing him. Nikaomba address and then I asked for the address. Kuwa mwezi wa 8 tarehe 14 siku ya Mungu kisha ibada nikaenda huko. It was in August 14. Kweli I went there on the muda, service and we took a muda, We took a time. Tuliongea and we talked. Na aliniambia neno moja. And he told me one thing. Sasa sisi watu wadogo hatujuagi. Sometimes like us youth uh, we don't understand. Tukiwa tunaongea kihuduma when we talking like we solving, aliniangalia kwa macho. He look at me. Akasema I Mtoto wangu zabiti. And then he said, my son is a bit. Ni mtoto amekomalia ndani ya neno la Mungu. He's a son who stayed in a God world. Umkomalishe kiroho. Uh, jina la Bwana libarikiwe. Sikuelewa ananipa husia gani juu ya familia yake. So he told he, he told the pastor to watch over the bit. But I didn't understand what he was talking about. Tukasikia kwamba anaenda kutoka kwenye alienda ili tuanze kumhudumia akiwa nyumbani. And then I heard that he was moving from where, where he was. Haraka sana nikasikia ana, ananiacha. And then uh, from that time I feel like he he just left me. Sikuelewa, I didn't understand. Mpaka Zabiti aliponiambia. By the time when uh Zabiti told me so I wanted to say my key for kin as a wongo someone. Uh cause I I said sometimes the death Sababu ni ni livio mwana ni kwana matumaini. When I saw him I had that hope. Lakini mungu anafanya anayo ya penda. But God do what he likes to do. Kusema nini mjua. Uh, saying that I knew him. Nilionana nae. I met him. Nilionana nae. I talked to him. Nilichangia nae chakula kwa muda mfupi. We ate food together like a little bit time. Alikuwa na matumaini. He had a hope. Sina wasiwasi. Uh, I don't fear. I don't have that uh the problem or the fear. Kwa gisi nilikaa nae kwa muda mfupi. The way I set him for a few days. Kweli alikuwa mtumishu wa mungu. He was truly a servant of God. Uh, kijana waki amesema neno. His son said. Kwa mba alikuwa mshauri wa familia. He was a, device, like a family advisor. Na alipo sema hivyo. When he said that. Nikasikia mwayo ni mwangu. I, I feel my heart. Muombe ili mungu ate uwe mwengine mshauri ndani ya familia hii to pray so that way he can live to pray God so he can live to somebody in the family like him basi tuwame let's pray mungu baba wishie mali pa kuinuka tunakuja tena mbele zako na tuko mbele zako tangu wa subuhi kwa mpango huu leo upanga tumekuisha sikia shuhuda chache sababu zingine tutazisikia kwa, kwa mele Hila hizi za muhimu Mungu tunakushukuru kwa kuwa umetengeneza maisha ya mtumishi wako wa chombo chako akiwa hai Mungu ushuhuda huu unatupa matumaini kwamba amepumzika amelala hakufa na siku moja atafufuka na walio hai tutaenda kumlaki tutakapo piga parapanda baba tukija huko mbinguni tunaomba sisi sote tupe matumaini ya kufufuka au kuruka kukulaki para pale takapolia asante mungu ninaombea familia hii ambayo imepoteza mshauri baba inua tena chombo kama mtumishi huyu ambayo umemchukua sababu kila mara kila ufalme uliteua chombo uliteua mfalme uliteua nabii 
ndani ya nchi kila ufalme uliteua nabii wa kuongoza wa kuzungumza na wewe kwa ajili ya ukoo kwa ajili ya kanisa lako kwa ajili ya ufalme inua chombo ndani ya familia hii ya zabiti ambayo mshauri wao ameondoka najua wewe haufanyi kosa unayafanya kwa mpango kwa hiyo tunakuomba kwa neema yako kwa neema zako familia hii usiiache usiiache bila mshauri inua mshauri unayemuona na stahili ndani ya familia hii kupitia jina la baba na mwana na roho mtakatifu tunaomba hayo amen, amen. Bwana Yesu asifiwe. Amen. Eh, tunafikia ukingoni wa ibada yetu hii ya mahali hapa. We are getting to the end of the service. Na tutakapomaliza hapa, when we finish here, tutamwalika anayehusika na mwili wa marehemu. Then I will ask who is in charge with uh, the party na hapo tutaingia katika program ya kumulaga and then we will go to the time uh, saying goodbye na kumuona mara ya mwisho and then uh, to, to to see him the last time na kabla hatia mwalika muhusika and before we invite him the 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 one who was in charge with the body tunaomba kwa mchungaji sungura we are asking our pastor sungura atombe maombi ya kumaliza ibada hii yetu to ask for the uh, ending of the service na kuombea safari tunataka kuanza kwenda huko and to pray over the the way of the road that we going ombe Mtakatifu, mtakatifu, Bwana wa majeshi. Mungu unayeketi kwenye vilele vya mbingu na nchi. Bwana tunasema asante kwa kazi kubwa hii ambayo imetendeka mahali hapa. Wewe umejua siku kama na hii. Na ikakupendeza Bwana na ukayatimiza. Tunasema tena sifa zikurudie maana haya ndio mapenzi yako Bwana. Zaidi ya yote Mungu naomba tena uendelee kuwa mfariji. Bwana tazama tunataka kuondoka na kujelekeza kaburini. Tunaomba Bwana uende pamoja na sisi utuongoze kwa mani na salama yako Mungu. Yaliyo kinyume na mapenzi yako yalaniwe katika jina la Yesu Kristo wa Nazareth yako. Asante kwa sababu Bwana tutakwenda pamoja na sisi. Ni katika jina la Yesu Kristo wa Nazareth tuomba. Amen. Amen.
kwangu na tukijaribiwa huku twajuani kwa muda mbinguni hatutaoni kamwe uzu ni wala machozi tena haleluya Chakula wala nyumba Ana vyote twa vipata kwa neema yake Jiani yote atu ongoza chukua mizigo yetu
kitabu cha Yohana mtakatifu sura ya kumi na moja mstari wa makumi mbili na tano hadi makumi mbili na sita lakini mimi najua ya kuwa mteteaji, mteteaji wangu yuu hai na ya kuwa hatimaye atasimama juu ya nchi na baada ya ngozi yangu kuharibiwa Hivi lakini pasipokuwa na mwili wangu nitamwona Mungu 
Nami nitamwona mimi nafsi yangu na macho yangu yatamtazama wala si mwingine. Hayo yanaandikwa katika Ayubu eh, sura ya 19 mstari wa 12 na 5 hadi 12 na 7. Hatukuja na kitu duniani. Tena hatuwezi kutoka na kitu. Maneno hayo tunayakuta katika Timotheo wa kwanza eh, sura ya sita mstari wa saba. Bwana alitoa, Bwana ametwa. Jina la Bwana libarikiwe. Tunayakuta katika Ayubu sura ya kwanza mstari wa makumi mbili na moja. Tunaomba Mungu kabla tuendelee. Mungu baba wa mbinguni. Tunakushukuru tena kwa kuwa haya ni mapenzi yako sio mapenzi ya mwanadamu Mungu umempenda zaidi mpendwa mshauri wetu mchungaji wetu mtumishi wako umeona kwamba kazi alizozifanya zinatosha aende kupumzika Tuna matumaini kwamba utamfufua siku hiyo utakayo baba fufua wale walio lala walio sinzia Mungu tunakonyesha muda huu tunaomba faraja kutoka mbinguni katika jina la Yesu Kristo wa Nazareti tunaombea service hii Mungu uje usimame pamoja nasi tunajua ni wakati wa uchungu bali tunaomba faraja kutoka mbinguni tunaalika jeshi la mbinguni tunaalika wa malaika wa mbinguni washuke kuwa pamoja nasi tunachokataa ni mapenzi yote ya ulimwengu wa giza kwa jina la Yesu Kristo wa Nazareti Acha Mungu chusha faraja kutoka mbinguni katika jina la Yesu Kristo wa Nazareti. Amen. Amen. Msifadhaike moyoni mwenu. Mnamwamini Mungu ni amini na mimi. Nyumbani mwa baba yangu na makao mengi. Kama sivyo ningeliwaambia, maana naenda kuwaandalia mahali, basi mimi nikienda na kuwaandalia mahali nitakuja tena ni wakaribishe kwangu ili nilipo mimi nanyi muwepo na nami niendako mwajua njia Tomaso akamwambia Bwana sisi hatujue uendako nasi twaijuaje njia Yesu akamwambia mimi ndimi njia na kweli na uzima Mtu haji kwa baba ila kwa njia ya mimi. Tunayakuta katika kitabu cha Yohana Mtakatifu sura ya 14 mstari wa kwanza hadi 16. Kwa kuwa Mwenyezi Mungu amependa kwa rehema zake nyingi kujitwalia roho ya huyu ndugu yetu mpendwa aliyefariki sisi twarudisha mwili wake ardhini udongo kwa udongo mavumbi kwa mavumbi tunaomba waweze kushusha mwili
Oh! 
kualika familia wachungaji wa ambao wako hapa watumishi wa Mungu waje tuweke udongo na itafuata familia alafu kisha familia watu wote watumishi wa Mungu wote ambao wako mahali hapa ukijijua wewe ni mtumishi wa Mungu karibu tushindikize mwezetu alafu familia itakuwa tayari kuweka udongo na tutakuwa tunaendelea kwenda kumalizia Mtumishi wa Mungu naye jijua ni mtumishi wa Mungu huyu naye alikuwa mtumishi wa Mungu tumwage mpendwa wetu mtumishi wa Mungu na wametukubalia tunaweza tukafuatilia mazishi yote paka wanamaliza kama tutakuwa na muda kalenda yetu ndio itaturuhusu karibu kwa familia joni tumwage asante kwa uvumilivu njikaze Tusiende tena katika shida kama vile mwezetu tunajua wakati ulio nao ni mgumu atu kwa neema na tushikisha tazama yuko pamoja na sine
kukamilisha Kristo aliye ukufuo na uzima ambaye kila mwaminie yeye ajapokufa ataishi na kila mwenye kuishi ndani yake na kumwamini hafi milele kwa kusii Bwana kwa unyenyekevu e baba utufufue na sisi toka mauti ya dhambi kwenye uzima wa haki ili tu kifariki dunia, dunia hii tustarehe katika yeye na katika ufufuo wa watu wote siku ya mwisho tuwe na kibali machoni pako tupewe baraka ili ambayo mwana wako mpendwa atawapa wote wa kupendao na kukucha ukisema njoni watoto wabarikiwa wa Bwana yangu urithi ufalme mliowekewa tangu kuumbwa kwa dunia tupate haya twakusii baba wa rehema kwa Yesu Kristo mpatanishi na mwokozi wetu amen tunaenda kuomba kumaliza kipindi hiki baba Mungu uishie mali pa kuinuka Tunakushukuru kwa gisi umekuwa pamoja nasi mwanzo wa huduma hii hadi tunamaliza huduma hii Mungu wetu tunaweka nyumba hii mikononi mwako tunaalika malaika waizunguke wailinde mchana na usiku e Mungu mtakatifu na hata siku ile Mungu wetu mtakatifu parapanda itakapolia mpendwa ambaye tumemwacha katika nyumba yake ya milele Mungu akakusikie Asante Mungu tukiendelea kuomba faraja kwa familia katika jina la Yesu Kristo ulivyomtoa huyu mshauri tunaomba uendelee kuinua tena mfalme kiongozi ndani ya familia hii atakayerithi baba karama aliyokuwa nayo Asante Mungu tunaombea baraka hawa wote ambao wameitika wito wakaacha shughuli zao kwa ajili ya upendo huu e Mungu wabariki na tukiwaombea mwisho mzuri siku ile Tunaomba hayo ni kupitia jina la Baba na Mwana na Roho Mtakatifu. Amen. 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 Mungu awabariki. Amen. They can continue. Ishakatika